Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. I've missed you all. I haven't picked up my camera and vlogged now for ages. Like, when was the last time I vlogged? I think the last time I actually vlogged was in Parma. Um, Parma? Yeah, no, with Tommy in the car, actually, um, which you guys absolutely loved that video. Thank you so much for the love of that video. Um, you guys really enjoyed having Tommy back on the channel, so I'm going to have to persuade him to definitely come back on more often. I think we've both just been so busy, like, doing our own thing that he just, I don't know, like, whenever I'm even vlogging, he's never even in my vlogs anymore because he's just never here. So it's been a very very hectic tuesday today um i am still really really suffering with jet lag which honestly i'm not gonna lie now this is gonna sound dramatic but i genuinely this jet lag has genuinely not put me off going to la but okay it's put me off going to la again we really really did have the most incredible holiday and i feel so blessed to have had that trip like it was exactly what we needed when i tell you for the whole 10 days we were in la i did not put makeup on once we did not we did not go to a single like fancy restaurant we did not do anything i didn't put a pair of high heels on i didn't put a pair of i barely even put a pair of jeans on like i genuinely just wore tracksuit bottoms it was just my my idea of a of heaven in a trip like just no effort needed, no like trying to make myself look nice. It was, this was literally me for 10 days. But yeah, the jet lag, well, it has, it's finished me off. Like I set my alarm this morning for eight um, to get up and go to the gym. When my alarm went off at eight, I actually chuckled to myself. I was like, oh, what, were you, what were you thinking? Like you didn't go to sleep until five. You didn't go to sleep until five. Your alarm's like, that's three, that's three hours sleep. Like, like I, I said to Tom yesterday, I was like, I literally feel like I'm dreaming all the time at the minute. That's how I would describe jet lag. Like when you're you feel like you're dreaming, you feel like you're delirious and just confused, like you don't know what, you don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, oi! Excuse me? The cats are literally trying to pull down the curtains. Excuse me? As you've seen for the title of this video, for my birthday, which is next week now, um, we are actually heading to Dubai. We're also going for 10 days again. And now I know it sounds like we've literally just like taken the mick there, we've spent the whole of May away, but this is like our holiday month. And um, this is when we will have our trips and then we won't go away for a good while after this. I don't even know if we'll go away for the rest of the year um, because going away is very expensive. I'm putting a lot of my time, money and effort into the house. Um, so trips aren't really, um, I think this, this, these will be our trips, LA and Dubai. We're doing pack with me and prep with me. I really, when I say prep, let me tell you, I need to sort myself out. Like I genuinely, I'm taking the mick now with, like I don't feel like a woman. I don't feel like a girl anymore. My leg hairs, in fact, oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed. Basically, I don't even want to talk about it because it's actually really embarrassing. It's never happened to me before. Basically, um, I got a few comments on my Palmer vlog about hairy armpits. Basically, I'm a very, very hairy gal. I'm not going to lie. Like, I get, because I'm naturally dark, like my, as you can see from my roots, I am naturally dark and my brows, I get very thick, very dark hair on my body parts, on my armpits, on my lady bits. <laughs> lady bits, uh what I've never called a lady bits. I don't even know what I call it, but it's definitely not lady bits. On that region, I get very dark, thick hair and I get it on my legs. And I'm just a hairy gal. So yes, I did have hairy armpits in that Palmer vlog because I probably shaved them two days before and they grow like that. And I did try laser, but the whole like waiting six weeks between appointments, it, it, I, it doesn't work for me. Like I need something that's quick. Basically, what was the moral of the story? Yeah, I'm just not a woman at the minute. I feel like I really need to sort myself out. Um, I really, really want to just get on top of my ish and just start to feel a little bit more nice about myself because I don't at the minute. Like genuinely, today I was just walking around town in Manchester and I just, I just felt gross. Like I just felt like I needed to wash my hair, which I still haven't done, shave every orifice of my body, get my eyebrows done, get my lashes done, maybe have a facial, um, just sort myself out a little bit because I don't know, I just feel a little bit like a, a silly excuse, excuse for a woman at the minute. That's, that's just the truth. Yeah, we can spend the next couple of days together and just get sorted and organized and have a little bit of a glow up as well. Sort all of this out. I am gonna move on with the vlog and take you upstairs in a second, but before I do, I wanted to just quickly tell you something that happened yesterday, which was so scary. So I was sat on the sofa and I saw something outside. Um, I, I thought I could see something moving outside and I was like, what on earth is that? And the cats were by the back door and they were like being, they were really, really freaked out and they were like acting all weird. Anyway, I looked outside the back door. Well, a fox the size of a lion, a, a fox the size of an actual tiger walking around the back garden, walking around in the back garden. 
So that's nice. I've basically got a pet fox now. I know that he's going to basically be a regular friend of ours. I had actually started to think about letting the cats out into the garden and creating a way that they wouldn't get out of the garden or making them like a little cat pen or something. But after I've seen that fox, I just don't. I'm sorry. But that fox, it, it, it would... It would eat them. It would really would. Like, it would eat me, let alone two tiny baby cats. So, yeah, I got a pet fox now. He's called Jeremy. And that's that, really. We have moved upstairs now, but I wanted to quickly just show you my new gadget, which I'm really, really buzzing with. So, I picked this up yesterday. Um, it's an iPad Pro, and I bought this, like, keyboard and this, like, Apple pen with it. Fran actually has this, and uses this all the time this is how she does like her emails her like just day-to-day -day work this is what she does it on she doesn't do it on a computer this is basically a computer but i love the base you can take the ipad off it so it, like it just it literally just pulls off here um so yeah this is my new little gadget really uh treated myself there also quarter to 12 as you can see on the 17th of may um so i really need to be sorting some stuff out and then heading to bed shortly i don't think i've shown you yet on my vlog this situation upstairs on our top floor. So this is currently the <laughs> joint walk-in wardrobe situation. Now, whenever I see people moving house and they show like what they're using as their wardrobe or what they've, you know, where all their clothes are stored and stuff, it always gives me a little bit of anxiety because I'm like, oh my gosh, I bet they can't find anything. I bet things are all in boxes. I bet they just can't locate anything they want to locate. Well, that's me right now. Um, even though it looks, to be fair, it looks pretty fine. I know we're really lucky to be able to even store our clothes like this on rails. I can have a room dedicated to this for now. Um, but it is an organised, well, it's not even organised, it's just a chaos. I always forget that I really can't wear pajamas without everyone seeing my full like my full boobs um in my palmer vlog my actual whole boob was out when i was wearing these pajamas so <laughs> i'm wearing them again but oh well um, i wanted to show you this because i'm really excited about it why is it always fran that buys me suitcases because last time i was like this looking in the viewfinder then reminded me of when i showed you my Ramoa, my Dior Ramoa that Fran got me for, I think it was a couple of birthdays ago or a couple of Christmases ago. Um, but there's like a bit of a running joke that whenever it comes to packing or needing a suitcase, I always have to ring Fran like the night before the trip and I'm like, ah, oh, my suitcase is broken. Oh, my suitcase is bust. The wheel's broken or I don't have a suitcase big enough. And I've basically stolen, just spat, I've basically stolen about five suitcases from Fran's now, from Fran um, and not given them back to her. I basically got them all here, so she was like, listen, give me back my suitcases and I'll buy you one for your birthday. How about that? <laughs> so she bought me a Samsonite for my birthday. <laughs> uh, my birthday's not, she bought it for me ages ago, uh, but she was like, if I get it for you now, you can use it for your trips and stuff, which was really sweet. And um, she got it engraved and stuff with my initials, um, and my mate here on the back, which is cute. Um, I've got this big PLT one here that I ordered. I'm hoping that like, the majority of my holiday outfits are going to be in here. Um, but I'm going to go through it with you guys and show you what I got. I'm going to have a little look for the PLT parcel now and work out what I'm going to be keeping, what I'm going to be sending back. I have had large anxiety, large anxiety about the cats. What's wrong with Dinky? Baby, where are you going? I've had quite bad anxiety about the cats jumping through the railings um this is the top staircase and it is carpeted this is the only one that is carpeted the one down there is not carpeted and they we have these uh, banisters the whole way down and the cats do like to like play in them they like jump on them they haven't jumped through them yet oh my goodness what's your name what's your name darling is it bread is your name the bready bozer boy is that not an otter because I think, I think there is an otter on my stairs. There is an otter on my stairs with an otter's tail. And there's a little baby one. Thank you. Oh, there's a snow leopard. Anyway, guys, night night, and I will chat to you tomorrow. I've lost the trolley, haven't I? Yeah, you have, yeah. You are doing on? No, it's okay. Sure? Yeah, thank you. Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a couple of days later and I and I am really sorry. I did start I did keep starting the vlog again um, and coming back in to say hi to you guys, but I know I know I sound like a broken record, but it's just been very, very hectic over the last couple of days. Um, and it's Saturday today and not a weekday, so I felt like today was the only day that I could really come on then. 
Come on then, love. So I'm actually currently on my way to Franz because she gets back from Barbados today. And while she was in Barbados, um, her lovely boyfriend Jay proposed to her. So Franz now fiance. Everyone in my life is a fiance. It's insane. Um, I feel like it's just a coincidence that it's literally all happened at the same time for like all my closest people. Um, when I say all my closest people, I literally mean Zoe and Fran. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm on my way. There. I'm on my way to Fran's now, not for a surprise, but just to be there. Like, well, it's a little surprise. Me, Ellen, and Erin are going to be there. Also, my new sunglasses. Erin and Ellen got me these for my birthday because um, my birthday's in like five days now. And yeah, little Dior sunglasses. I absolutely love them. They're so sweet, and they got me some pajamas as well, some knickers. <laughs> they, they really spoiled me. It was really cute. Right, guys, we're at Fran's. And we're scared! We're scared! Wait, should we just turn the lights on? It looks weird, it's in the dark. So I don't know why we're getting so into this. Like, it's literally just the most miniature surprise do we, ever. Do we close the door or not? We've decided on the door now. I think maybe... I think lights on, door closed. No, I think the door's semi-closed. Like, half the door. Ain't there those people in there? Like, there? Yeah. Walk right, in. Walk in, walk in. Okay. Guys, we have just pulled up at the place where I'm going to get my brows done. Gave you a little before. I'm not going to lie. I've had a little bit of like a mini, I don't know what it is. It was a little bit like an allergic reaction on my eyes. I put makeup on for the first time in like a month yesterday. And my eyelids, I don't know if you can see, they're really like sort of puffy and a bit swollen and really sore. Will I be telling my lash lady about that? No or not because I have a feeling she might say I'm not doing it today, but I need my LVM before I go to Dubai. So will I come out of there with potentially some sort of damage to this? Uh, maybe, maybe I will. Um, but listen, life's too short. I need curly lashes for Dubai. So uh, we're gonna head in now. It's my brows before. They've actually grown quite a lot, really. Uh, last time I saw Gronya, I asked her to sort of leave the length and like the, so the hairs are a bit longer um, so I can brush them off and make them look quite bushy. But anyway, this is the before. The way you're holding your chest for me, you look like a corpse. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that, it just feels <laughs> nice. I just feel kind of like protected. You've got this big handkerchief on. Yeah. There we go. My lashes have curled so well this time, also, don't mind my red top lip. I've just had my little stosh, my moustache done. Because I get a really hairy top lip, like I told you at the start of the vlog. I'm just a hairy girl. Um, but yeah, my brows are all done. They're dark, but I like having them done dark because they do just fade so quickly. Ready? No, bread! Bread! Please, I need loving, please. Love me and tell me that I'm your mum. Say, I love you, mum. I love you, mummy. Granny! <laughs> right, team, I have just gone home. That's a lie, I've not just gone home. I've been home for ages. I've just been potting around, trying things on for holiday, unpacking things that I've bought unpackaging parcels, sorting through everything, looking through that PLT parcel which I showed you the other day. Now I've gone through all the things I've sort of mustered together over the last few days for this trip to Dubai. I'm actually pretty happy, well actually very happy with some of the things that I managed to get. I'm going to show you some stuff in a second and try some bits on for you. I don't know about you guys but I really didn't have any inspo to go off for like holiday outfits this year. I feel like it's still a little bit early. I feel like true summer holiday outfits start within the next couple of months um, and that's when I see girls on Instagram and I'm like oh my gosh I need that. I walked in from going out for a curry with Steph yesterday night and I walked into this, these beautiful frames from PLT for my birthday. I literally couldn't believe it. It actually made me a little bit emotional that they went to this effort to like pick out these really special pictures of me from my creative director shoot that we did in Santorini. It was just the most insane shoot and I love that they did it in black and white as well because it's just perfect for the house and I'm so excited to put these up. So here's the little holiday piles that I'm sort of mustering together. I might actually 
actually bring my suitcase downstairs and start packing it down here or is that a silly idea? I don't know, I just feel like I've got all my clothes in this area that I want to start packing. So does it make sense to take them all upstairs when I'm just going to have to bring them all down in a suitcase? Anyway, should I just pack down here? Or is that a silly idea? I'm not too sure. I don't know whether it's better for me to do a little haul like this or if it's better for me to prop the camera up somewhere so it's not too distracting. Maybe I'll do a bit of half and half. Um, but guys, PLT holiday haul commences. This set... Oh, to be honest, I'm going to be honest, I felt like the whole zebra, I mean this isn't even zebra, this is actually just like a black and white abstract print, but I did feel like it was kind of a little bit done for a while, but now after putting this on, I'm like, do you know what, it's just such a holiday staple outfit, you just can't go wrong, I feel very confident in a, in a little beachy outfit like this, I, as you guys know, I've told you a million times, I'm not that confident in a bikini, I never have been, probably never will be, um, so outfits like this on holiday for me are just so... They just make me feel very confident having a nice beach trouser that I can go to lunch in, eat whatever I want. This is the other optional angle where like it's completely still and I can just go like this. But I feel like you can't see the full length of it properly. But yeah, here's the outfit from another angle. Very, very cute. I really like this. I'm going to see if they've got this in any other patterns. I mean, it's too late to order it now. But um, yeah, love this. Guys, I'm sorry. I actually don't have the words for this dress. Like, I am so in love with this dress. I think this could be one of my favourite ever pieces that I've bought on PLT. This dress has the most gorgeous, expensive feel to it. Can you even go with that beautiful, sort of like, um, it's not really ruched, is it? It's sort of just like crease detailing at the front with this little tie, which really cinches you in. This for dinner, with heels, a little clutch, a nice earring. I'm I'm so, so happy with this dress. I think I picked this up in a size eight. I'm pretty sure. The walls in this house aren't really displaying this dress the best because it's all white. <laughs> if I stand here, you can kind of see it's shaped a little bit better, but oh, I just love it. I can't wait to wear this on holiday. Next up, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little top, which the quality, again, once again, the quality feels insane. It's a really heavy piece, like really weighty, heavy material. It looks kind of washed out in this light, but it's actually more of like a cream color. Has this really gorgeous little knock detail at the front. Has these really beautiful balloon sleeves with an open cuff. I really, really hope it's still in stock. Obviously, I'll link everything down below for you guys. I think I picked this up in a size eight again. Um, really supports the boobs as well. The material cops right underneath my boobs, makes you feel really supported. <laughs> I'm sorry, but every single thing I got in this order has been a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Next up, we have this gorgeous little top that I picked up. Again, I think I picked this up in a size eight. I've done the adjustable straps on this top super tight, so it'll give it a bit of a lift effect in the booby region, which it's really done actually. It's really lifted and feels very supportive. This top with a nice pair of jeans for dinner is perfect, or even with a pair of cargoes. Annoyingly, um, this car key and this car key are slightly different, so just ignore that. Tops with adjustable straps are actually my best friend. Like, they really are. They just give you that little bit of lift that you need, and it's so annoying when you find a top that fits you perfectly everywhere else, but then the straps are too baggy, so adjustable straps are just where it's at. Next up, we have this little Tinkerbell moment. I never really wear that much colour. I might just pop a little white bandeau underneath to sort of double it up a little bit just because when you've got a little bit of a nip on, say if you go out a little bit cold, I'm not going to lie, like you probably will see it through this top because it is that slinky, like lightweight material. When I've got a tan, a gold earring in, hair scraped back like this, little high heel, this would also be really nice for dinner, but again also really nice for the beach. These sort of skirts or dresses, anything with a bit of like sort of textures to the material or movement where it's not skin tight. This is what I tend to go for just because it makes me feel a little bit more confident. Um, makes me feel like I don't have to breathe in all night. I really should have given this little skirt an iron before I showed you guys. Um, but this next, well, the next piece I'm showing you, they're not really an outfit. It's just a couple of pieces that I picked up separately. Um, PLT, as you guys probably know, is just unreal for basic bikinis. I pick up most of my bikinis from PLT for holidays and stuff. They're just really, really great. They fit really well. I love that they're completely adjustable on the straps and stuff. You can tie them as tight or as loose as you want them. Another great option for a beach cover-up, I thought would be this little green skirt, which I absolutely love. I put this up in a size eight, but I wish I'd actually got a 10 because it's fine, but it is quite snug. I like to, things to be very sort of to be fair, it's actually fine. It, it, it's not too tight, but I, I just love things to be quite loose. I'm all about being comfortable, especially on holiday, especially in Dubai when it's going to be 40 degrees. But I love the colour of this. 
You've got to be joking me. Get back from there. This is what I mean. They keep... Baby! No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy, little boy. Oh, my God. He's so funny. The chips are sticking out of the banister looking at me like, what are you doing, Mum? As I was saying, a great option for a little beach cover-up. Another piece I wanted to show you was this gorgeous blue shirt, but annoyingly, I got it in the wrong size. Um, it's not as oversized as I want it to look. So if I had my time again, I'd send this back and order it in a larger size. The colour is beautiful and the material, again, feels really, really nice. Back in my comfies now. Hope you enjoyed that little mini haul of the bits that were my... I actually ordered a few more bits than that, um, which I still loved, but I just filtered through and picked up my favourite ones just to show you guys because I know you're going to love those pieces. I feel like for holiday outfits, though, on a budget, PLT is just where it's at. It just doesn't get any better for me for bikinis, cover-ups, evening dresses, basics. Like, you just cannot go wrong. Okay. Basically, guys, we're going to Dubai in about an hour's time and we have not done an ounce of packing. As you can see, uh, everything's all over the floor in turmoil. It's 11 o'clock at night. So it's 11 o'clock at night here and we are flying tomorrow at 2 in the afternoon, but we've got to be at the airport for 11 in the morning. So, and it's currently 11 o'clock at night, like I said, so it's, it's getting on. I'm tired and um, we've got to do a lot of packing because we're going for just shy of two weeks. So um, we're going to need a lot of stuff. <laughs> bit worried about I'm slightly I'm slightly worried about it is when we went to LA a few weeks ago um we got to the airport and they weighed my suitcase and it was over 30 kilograms and I was like oh gosh that's heavy isn't it over, over 30 kilograms and the woman was like um yeah it's it, it's you know it's not just like a problem like it at the conveyor belt the conveyor belt won't actually move if your suitcase is over 30 kilograms like it we can't send it I was like right so I was just stood there with the suitcase. I think it was like 32 kilograms or even potentially even more. It might have been 35. Anyway, I was just stood there like, what am I actually meant to do? Um, so yeah, we had to do some rearranging and luckily we just managed to figure it out. But if that's over 30 kilograms, it's going to be such a faff at the airport and I really can't be bothered. So <sighs> this is where we're at right now. Everything's looking pretty organized to be fair. I've packed two vanities. I've been doing that a lot recently, two vanities and my makeup bag separate. Um, just because I take that many toiletries these days because I have that many skincare products and hair care products that so I just feel like I can't go 10 days without. Um, even stuff like to do with teeth, like toothbrushes, teeth whitening, mouthwash. I know you can buy that stuff um, over there, but you know when you have like your favorites and you wanna take your stuff with you. Um, so yeah, it's all pretty organized. I've got my waiver kit, my Coquit One, um, earrings in that box, earrings in that box, clutch that packs flat down. In that Prada bag there are all my bikinis and swimwear. Um, I know it's very bulky, but I've packed a lot of swimwear because I feel like that's all we're going to be living in for the next 10 days. Just coming out here to talk about the humidity. I don't even need to explain the humidity because my camera lens, my camera lens, my camera lens is doing all the explaining for me. Let me just, I'm going to have to go back inside because I mean, that is insane. What the hell? So guys, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's so humid outside. Um, I don't even know why I've bothered curling my hair. Um, for this evening. I was saying to Tommy, like, do I even bother? Because I obviously want to look nice to go for dinner. Oh, by the way, we're in Dubai. <laughs> I didn't even say that. Last time I spoke to you, I, we were at home and then suddenly we're in Dubai, but I uh, forgot. Yeah? Is it gym this morning? No, this isn't that vlog. This, oh. that, basically he thinks this is the Dubai vlog. It's not, I'm closing off my vlog from home so I can put that up tonight. Oh. Multitasking. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're in Dubai. Dubai vlog has commenced, so I'm not going to do too much talking here because we're vlogging. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been so random. It did initially start off as a pack with me. That was my initial concept, but 
it hasn't really stayed as a pack with me, has it? I mean, we went to Franz, we've been milling around all over the place. If you stay to the end of this video, then obviously I love you millions. And hopefully I will catch you all in my next video, which, fingers crossed, will be my Dubai vlog. Over and oi. Over and oi. Over and oi. Say illy. No. Say illy. I'm not. Illy. Illy. Bye, guys. Love ya.